Welcome to Thoughts from the Cheap Seats, episode who knows what. Uh, on this episode, we have registered dietitian Lindsay Orr, and then we've got Matt, Steve, Jacob, and Taylor Wilson. Woo. Enjoy. What's up, babe? We're basically, uh, we're basically like a starting five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lindsay didn't get the uh, memo to have something with a sport. Right. It is. This is my... Collegiate and Professional Sports Dietitian Association shirt. Sure. Jesus Christ, you got that thing out of the bottom of the dresser for this. We get it. Big words. Big words. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, first things first. Okay, first, Lindsay, former dietitian for the Rangers. What's, your, what's like your claim to fame here? Tell us why you're on the podcast. Well, I did work two full seasons with the Texas Rangers. Um, I finished that up this past October. Um, I was sad to leave them, but I didn't want to move to the desert, which was kind of where my role was taking me. So I'm hanging out here now in Baton Rouge. Um, but I work with professional, I have worked with professional, collegiate, and high school athletes, not to mention just your weekend warriors like you guys. You know? Yeah. Right. In Warriors, I like that. Yeah, Weekend yeah. Warriors. So, uh, been around the block, I guess you could say. This is the nicest thing anybody's ever called me. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call a, uh, like a slow pitch softball player, a Weekend Warrior? Because <laughs> that's me. The person who runs like a 5K every once a year, maybe twice. That's if I ever run a 5K. I'm not even a, I'm not even a Weekend Warrior. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> I don't even qualify as a weekend warrior. I haven't ran a 5K since uh, my basketball coach made me in high school for cross country. <laughs> and then I absolutely hated it then. All right. Uh, so we got Lindsay Or First off, do you have any letters behind your name? Yeah, I have a few letters behind my name. Go ahead. I got MS. I got a master's of exercise and sports nutrition. I have RD, which is registered dietitian. And I have LDN, which is licensed dietitian nutritionist, which Louisiana you have to have. But other states, you may not have to have that. That's a lot of names. I know another guy who's got a lot of names. Oh, God. He's like, he's right there on my screen. Taylor? Oh, yeah. That's me. Taylor got a lot of names. Yeah, mostly just initials, though. No degree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do y'all want me to go first with questions? Go ahead. All right. Mine's the best question so, so far. Um, Lindsay. Best fast food to eat in the time of this coronavirus crisis? Chick fil A. Oh. I can what do you that. get it? Yeah. What do you get at Chick fil A? Fried chicken, sandwich. You can get, you, well, I mean, honestly, their fried mm -hmm. options aren't too terribly bad compared to other fried options, but they also have that whole grilled filet. You can get literally like a three ounce piece of chicken just grilled, pair that with some fruit, salad. Maybe a few fries and you'd be Gucci, you know? That's what Taylor used to get at Zaxby's. Well, here's a cheat code. <laughs> you go to Chipotle, get a side of chicken and a side of rice, tell them to put it in a bowl. You walk out, dude, you spend less than $4, and you get chicken and rice. Boom. No big deal. Cheat code. I'll tell you what. I will not personally go to Chipotle, and the only reason is because I have <sighs> served so many Chipotle meals to athletes – it's unreal. That is the only thing they like to eat, the, especially in baseball. I can't tell you how many thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars I have spent on Chipotle. Not my personal money, but yeah, I was about to say, geez, no. that's, that's a sucky job. <laughs> no, not my money, own money, but just like we could be part owners of Chipotle, the amount of athletes that eat. You talked me into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, why, really <laughs> why do they like – I mean – what other restaurants did, did you use to cater? Subway, Chick-fil-A. Uh, Subway's boring. Yeah, Subway's kind of like a hit or miss. That would be like if they had a double header, you need something quick in between. Um, but mainly, yeah, that, Chick-fil-A, not a whole lot of fast food. We would find restaurants that would work with us most of the time to cater meals, but yeah. Chick-fil-A's always been my go-to. Look, I got to read it. I screenshot it. 
uh, Lindsay. Let's see. Earlier I was talking with Lindsay. I said, hey, <laughs> don't say anything. You wouldn't want your grandma hearing on here because I'm going to blast it on Facebook. <laughs> she said, I was about to ask if cursing was allowed because sometimes it's a mistake when I get hype about veggies. <laughs> <laughs> True. I, it'd be like that it was such a genuine answer. Like <laughs> I was not expecting that. I, I was just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch my mouth. Yeah, got it, got it. Like, no, nah, sorry. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Somebody brings carrots up, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting hot. How often are you talking to somebody? And you're like, don't you, don't you talk about carrots? Like, <laughs> yeah. Don't you do uh, it? I mean, I can't really be honest about that answer, but probably what, at least once. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even mad. It's like your life's work to back veggies. You're like, like you should just go on Twitter and just look up vegetables, and then you go on there and you're just getting all these Twitter arguments <clears throat> with people about vegetables and fruits. Like an ambassador for vegetables. Yes, wow. you are the ambassador <laughs> for vegetables and fruits. I but, had um, the dietitian I worked with the, with the Rangers. She was called by one of the <laughs> sons the snack queen. Because mm. she was always talking about snacks, and I was like, I feel like I should be fruit and veggie queen or something like that. Because oh, that was just my <laughs> I mean, for real. I W fruit and veggie queen. I mean, there can't be a whole lot of people wanting to be that. Be honest with you. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's like you and like my grand, and my <laughs> grand's got it on you. She got like a whole freezer. She's been preparing for this coronavirus her whole life. I need to blast the picture of their freezer. It's like nothing but corn and then like peas and okra. Like they could survive forever. They're going to be just fine. Is it bad that we're sitting here talking about vegetables and all I think about is veggie tails? <laughs> no. That is bad because that sort of creeps me out. <laughs> wow. Are you not a veg? Are you not a veggie tail? <laughs> is that insulting to the yeah. vegetables? Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm over here drinking a monster, but it's uh, zero sugar. I just want to hit up our sponsor, monster sponsor. Uh, Monster Energy Zero Ultra. Thank you for your sponsorship. Uh, they send me like a case a year. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we lost Matthew. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. He's vital to this podcast. Um, Taylor, I know you had a great question. You want to ask a, your great question? Yeah. So um, I'm not big on vegetables. Uh, I know that they're great for you and everything. Uh, but I wanted to ask this, is there like a king vegetable or a king fruit? Like if I'm going to, for somebody that doesn't eat a lot of vegetables, is there like a fruit and a vegetable that I should go to and eat that like the granddaddy of them all? It's a hard question, but I would say if you had to pick one veggie, I would go with spinach. I would go oh. with dark leafy green. And let me tell you why. Spinach is one of those vegetables that have almost everything in it. I mean, it's got vitamin C, which is important for immunity. It's got even some iron in there. It's got folate. It's got all these different nutrients I don't even want to get into. But it's just got a little bit of, of it all. And you can eat it raw. You can cook it. You can blend it into a smoothie, which is what most of the athletes I worked with did because you don't taste it that way. And you probably heard that before, but it's true. Is there any ways in which you shouldn't prepare it to where it would lose its nutrients? Because I've heard rumors like that, too. It's true that some ways of cooking can cause you to lose some nutrients, but in the grand scheme of things, if that's the only vegetable you're going to eat, it really doesn't matter. Um, raw, you're going to get the most integrity out of anything. But integrity. Soon, yeah, you're going to keep it integrity. <laughs> and like raw, of course, you know, it's got its drawbacks because of how it tastes sometimes to some people. But um, steaming is another good method, but like frying it, you can totally fry kale, which I assume you can do with spinach. I've never tried it before or seen it. Um, that kind of takes away a little bit of the nutrition. But. That sounds terrible. And then what about a fruit? Fruit? I would go with a citrus fruit. I would probably, well, actually, I'm going to digress on that. Because my favorite <coughs> fruit to on people is blueberries. And it's because blueberries are extremely high in antioxidants. They have been well researched for a variety of reasons for recovery, for exercise, and things like that. So I would say blueberries would be my top pick for a fruit. So basically, eat red meat, spinach, side of blueberries, double that bad boy up with a glass of milk. No raw eggs. 
Chocolate milk. Yeah. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. There you go. That's true. Higher on protein, seen on the side of the bottle. And sugar. And yes. <laughs> Got to have some sugar yeah. in there. I've heard that's. that's yeah. Yeah. See. Basically, I wouldn't say you're like a vegetable queen, Lindsay. I was thinking about it. I think you're kind of like the vegetable like mob leader, like you're the leader of the cartel. Like I will fight you if you. Yes, will. yes, because I can see you're just about you're about to give Taylor a good cussing for no reason. Just you're, like, <laughs> yeah, you're, like, like, you're gonna eat them. You're gonna eat you know, spinach. Five or six years ago, I might jump on you about it when I was still like you know learning about some of it. But I've heard that way too many times. You know, I don't like vegetables, but we can find yeah. one that you will eat. So uh, and one better I'll than none. I'll force so. it, down, but you know, yeah. if there's one, right. like potatoes, are they a vegetable? I mean, they're a vegetable, but I mean that's not really the category that we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a heavy I mean, dose of those. <laughs> I eat potatoes every single day. That's my number one carb in my diet, potatoes. Yeah. I eat a good green bean, but I may or may not mix some brown sugar in there. A little bit, little bit of Tony's bacon, and yeah. some bacon. <laughs> Ooh, I don't do the brown out. sugar, but I do the bacon. Yeah. Oh, the brown sugar would change your life. Well, it may not change your life, vegetable lady, but yeah, it's pretty dang good. So is this something you always wanted to do, Lindsay? I mean, is this something you, you know, in high school or, you know, when did you decide you want to become a dietitian? I honestly, I mean, I was, I played sports, so I've always liked that side of it. Um, but then when I started college, I started off as nursing. And then we had one diet class that we took and I took a lot of interest in that class. And I learned that you could be <clears throat> a dietitian for athletes. And I was like, Ooh, that is right up my alley. And so pretty much from that point on, I decided I want to do that, but it kind of just goes along with my life. I just love to eat. I love food I love to cook. I mean, I like telling people how to eat and stuff. You know, I like conversations about it to be honest with you, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't have a whole life, but. You should start a food podcast. I've thought about Ooh. starting like a vlog or something. A vlog would be good. Yeah, a vlog would be good. Yeah, like TikTok. I, I'm so awkward though. I don't, like, I don't even like, hi guys. Like, what's up? Here's I mean, look at me. Social media? <laughs> media is awkward. Yeah, yeah, I haven't stopped spinning in my chair this entire time. Yeah. Like, no. pretty much all of I mean, Chris Collinsworth over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably. <laughs> <laughs> for all the listeners that was great that was good radio good radio per use uh well, hey do you have any cool uh, i guess uh texas ranger stories as far as i mean interaction with players I'm trying to go uh, with player well i probably have a million but um one of the biggest things i guess is just for those who don't know Every single MLB team out there has to have a dietitian in some sort. <laughs> they might come in every now and then, or they might be there full time. So I was a part time and we had a full time person too, but I was full time when it came to spring training. And so for two years in a row, I was in Arizona for 45 days straight, basically taking care of spring training. And that's just a whole memory in itself because we would get up at like 5 a.m., if we wanted to work out, we would try to get it done in the morning, which I am not a morning workout person. So that meant no workout for me. And then we would work all day, have a cooking class at night for the guys, and then usually work out after that. So our days were like 15, 16 hours long. And we had one off day in between. It was brutal. But it was like, looking back, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but I guess the best experience I ever had was we had a camp. And some of the prospects, like guys who were in the minor league system, we had a cooking a chop competition. So we supplied mystery ingredients to them. And these are guys who have never cooked before. We tried to help them out a little bit. And long story short, we had a grease fire <laughs> inside oh, nice. Ranger Ooh. Stadium in a, in a suite. <laughs> the <laughs> kitchen was using that as the area to prep. And we're talking, no joke, at least five, six foot flames coming off of this skillet. And Dinner no and show. fire alarm. Yeah, no fire alarms went off. <laughs> and there was smoke everywhere and somehow no fire alarms. But um, but yeah, it was just hilarious. And I, had I heard you put water on those to put those out, right? 
Uh, no. One guy <laughs> did try. <laughs> Wait, we had one dude trying to pour water and one guy on the side blowing on it. And I was like, stop. <laughs> and I hear I come like, you know, close it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, it was That's hilarious. That was a good That's learning funny. experience. I um, I mean, start my. I mean, I'm a big fire guy. Actually, Steve's a big fire guy. I'm a big fire guy. <laughs> I like a good fire. Yeah. Uh, that's really all I had. Did y'all have anything else? Taylor, do you have anything else? You have some true false. Uh, true false. Uh, broccoli was made by Satan, but now I know your answer on that. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. That was a good one. I like that. I've heard yeah. this. Um, that preservatives, obviously, you want to stay as far away from preservatives as all as you can. True or false, there are good preservatives. Ooh, that is yeah. a good question. And then, say, I, yeah? would say, I would say, yeah, I mean, it, that's a complicated answer, but salt is a preservative, and right. salt has its place in a lot of different things. And so that's I would salt. say salt's perfectly fine. So um, there are some out there that are more chemical-based that's eh, not so great, but. So what are like maybe some of the worst preservatives that if you're trying to build an immunity, you should probably stay away from? Honestly, like by name, I don't know any of them, but the preservatives that would be an issue <coughs> would be coming from mostly boxed or canned type foods, which are going to be poor quality than frozen or fresh to begin with. So you would want to just try and stick with as much fresh or frozen food, talking fruit and vegetables here, or meats, as much as possible. Because then you don't have the added preservatives as much. Well, okay, here's a, this is a solid question. Wow. <laughs> Are you talking about show questions? No, yeah. <laughs> You're talking about the question yeah. you haven't asked yet. Yeah, this is good. This yeah. is good. This Can't is wait. the clip. This is I'm the clip. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Y'all remember a couple weeks back when I was, was telling a story about what the kid called me a second time and how well I built that up? I'm building that up, building this up right now. As well. All right, here's a good question. All right, with the coronavirus craziness going on at the grocery store, what's one food I should go get that nobody thought about? Spinach. Oh, <laughs> Dang it, Steve. All right, so maybe it's spinach. <laughs> Might be. It's honestly everything in the fresh section. People are doing it backwards. All of the stuff on the aisles are gone, but everything in the fresh section is there. And so everything in the fresh section is going to be primarily your fruits and vegetables. We're going to help your immune system. So that's really where we need to be at. Yeah, that's literally what I thought the other day. I was like, because me and my mom were talking about it. She said, you know, everybody's got all the frozen stuff, all the frozen vegetables. And then she's like, I mean, and she literally said that. She's like, all that's left is the fresh. And I'm like, mom, I'm pretty positive you can put that in the freezer. Exactly. Like, yeah, like you can freeze fresh, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, that's where I think people are just popping up because they don't want to leave their house, which is fine. But you can just take the vegetables from the fresh section, cut, cut it up, put it in a ziploc bag, and freeze it yourself. Right. Yeah, and be done. That was a pretty good question. That was a good question. Thank you. I needed I would the reassurance. It's cauliflower because I've been obsessed with cauliflower lately. <laughs> I have another question. It has to do with quarantining. So quarantine, quarantine <laughs> and quarantining yourself. Um, what is the, I mean, I guess you could say spinach, but I just like, but like, what's like a go-to snack. That's a filler that'll help you stay away from the fridge. And so that way you're not like making like 42 tri trips and eat three boxes of pop tarts and yeah. My answer would just be a straight up loaf of bread. That's what just I mean. Eating that straight the, bread. That would be the opposite, actually. Oh. You would want. I was setting you up. To clarify. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that your bread's going to absorb real fast and be out of your system, and you're going to be hungry in 35 minutes. The thing that's going to keep you full for a long time is going to be a healthy fat. I would do like nuts or seeds, nut butter, like has no added sugar, like peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter. I like walnuts they're my number one nut to eat i guess you can say <laughs> and that would be the perfect snack to combine with some fruit because that's going to hold you over for the longest not as good a question as mine 
<laughs> you, no, not at all. Taylor, this is your first podcast, okay? So yeah. welcome to the big leagues, my friend. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I should have said that my question was going to be really good. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> look at there. You're this catching on quick. Well. You're catching on quick, hey, I've bro. Got, I've got one question for you, Lindsay. So I've been kind of into smoothies here lately. What's the go-to smoothie recipe? I have a perfect one for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Start with eight ounces of liquid. Okay. If you're trying to gain weight, like muscle, I would say maybe milk. Okay. If you're trying to keep it lean, I would go with water. Okay. okay. Eight ounces. Then add in your fruit. I would go with, depending on how big of a smoothie, one or two cups of diced fruit. It could be frozen or it could be fresh. If it's frozen, you don't need ice. If it's fresh, you probably need ice. Okay. You can figure that out. Um, I like adding in berries like blueberries. There's the antioxidants. So you want to have some kind of berry in there maybe. But then the two very important ingredients to go with that is going to be protein, which you could do a whole food, which I would suggest like a Greek yogurt. That's going to be the best way to get some protein into a smoothie. Second best would be a whey protein isolate maybe powder, a good brand, um, a scoop or two of that, depending on how much protein's in the scoop, usually about 20, 25 grams. And then the last thing you would want to sprinkle in some healthy fats, maybe half of an avocado, some chia seeds. Um, you could even put in whole nuts and those can blend in really well too, or any other type of seed that works too. Um, and that's it. But you want to have all those ingredients. You don't want to just have fruit and protein. You want to have fruit, protein, fat. You don't want to have just straight fruit because then you're going to get hungry in just a few hours. Steve, if you don't make that smoothie within the next two days and then post I'll it. Make it. I've been on the uh, the strawberry, like the yogurt strawberry from Smoothie King. Yeah, strawberry What's yogurt delight. Go ahead and say delight. it. You yeah, wanted yeah, to say yeah. it. You didn't want to say yeah, it. Yeah, well, yeah. Strawberry yogurt delight. That's my, that's my go-to, though. It yeah. fills me up, though, so I like that's it. Really good. I used I to get to use a lot of dates in mine. Not too heavy on the dates, though, because uh, – they are high in calories. I used to do the strawberry, uh, the gladiator. It's got like yeah. a thousand calories. That's what, uh, when I worked for uh, the tech basketball team, I think that's what they had after every game, I think was a gladiator. gladiator. I yeah. yeah, I can't really remember. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. I always like the strawberry banana, like a muscle punch yeah. from Smoothie King. That or Angel Food were the only two I ever even got. That, nope, that's what it was Angel Food. They had Angel Food every game after everyone. I'd snag a couple. They're, they're pretty low in protein, though. Like, when you really start looking at it, and they're high in sugar. They add mm -hmm. sugar to their smoothies. It's usually not just straight fruit, so. Hmm. It says, well, like, 300 calories. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, and then the chocolate hulk's, like, three days' worth of meals. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Smoothie King. Not a sponsor yet. Can be, I'll though. Send, yeah, I know. I'll send it to them, see if they want to be. All right, Lindsay, thank you for giving us 20 minutes of your knowledge. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Basically, yeah. basically, eat your spinach, uh, yeah. eat blueberries. We'll have, to get you back on, uh, we'll have to get you back on to talk college football during the, the season. Oh, yeah. If they're, She's basically our Casey Smith. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <coughs> basically, yeah. I hope right. we have it. I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right let's not talk you. like that. Let's not talk like that. No. Nope. Positive vibes. My wedding is that time of the year, too. I'm really hoping. Positive everything. vibes. <laughs> yeah, positive vibes only. All right, well, I'm about to end this call. Thanks, Lindsay. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Bye, Lindsay. Uh, One, two, right. three, four. All right, here we go. What's up, guys? What's up? Uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, <laughs> despite all the travel bans and everything else, like I got an opportunity to go to Staples Center, so here I am. <laughs> And you keep losing your arm. Like your yeah. arm is like camouflage with it. Yeah, camera work here isn't that great. Yeah. Kept it off by a lion or a tiger. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, I watched the first three or four episodes of that, and uh, oh, everyone's right. Everyone's right. It is literally like a train wreck. <laughs> yeah. And you can't stop watching. <laughs> can't stop. Can't stop. What's, your, what's been your favorite part so far? My favorite part is really like, it's all wild, but the quotes that I get from it, like, let me, I got, I got a notepad. You got notes? I don't know if you can you see, can't it. see it. Well, you can't up. see it. Here's my notepad. Oh, wow. You just, can't see it. You just pulled it off the bench. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just pulled this off the bench. Um, here we go. First off, I thought the Tiger King guy, low key, solid singer. 
Um, uh, oh, yeah. that's yeah, that's that's break to you. <laughs> One, that's not him singing. Two, I thought you were about to say solid six. And you were going to <laughs> <No>. <laughs> solid six. <laughs> no, like that's not him singing? No. <laughs> so the story on that is he went to these like up and coming singers or whatever and was like, hey, I'm working on this reality show. I need you guys to kind of write some songs. And there goes Jacob. We'll see you, Jacob. Jacob? <laughs> nice knowing you. Yeah, nice knowing you. So what, he, he got some people to write songs and then he just oh, – I don't know them? the whole story. I just know. I don't How could you not tell from watching it? I just know he loves to hear himself sing. That's, all, that's on me. All right, well, I got more. That's a good thing I wrote more than one note. Um, <laughs> I said to be a cat guy, you got to have oh, one thing. Is. It's a requirement to be a cat guy. This is it. You got to have earrings. Not earring. Earrings. Yeah, mm. he's got a lot of them. Yeah, and so does the the doctor. The doctor guy's got a bunch of them. And then I've got uh, the doctor guy says anyone who doesn't love cats is insecure and broken. And I'm not it's a cat true. guy. I'm not a cat. Hundred percent. Don't consider myself insecure or broken. Mm. If you don't love cats. <laughs> and then I have. Uh, <laughs> When he marries the other guy and they make a they make a marriage of three guys. And then like that's weird, but the weirdest thing to me is the blanket they get as a gift. And it's got all three of their faces on it. And get spoiler alert. Just wait, hey, just wait. You're in for a wild ride if you think you're already on a wild ride. Definitely. Or am I like still am I still like ticking up? Hey, you're still you're ticking up. You're still Sheesh. on a crescendo. Yeah. <laughs> what is a crescendo? I don't know. It's Somebody like a croissant. <laughs> Watch the show. Maybe you'd find out. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I will. Um, and then one guy said uh, he compared his job to the military. He said, this is the military. Instead of grenades, we got tigers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And, I mean, I don't know, Jacob, if you can t want to speak on your military experience. I know the Navy's closed right now, or the Air Force is closed. Sorry. Air Force closed, yeah. Yeah, you guys are out for summer, but. Uh, uh, nothing like that. Yeah. Nothing going on like that? Mm. Anybody else have any big thoughts on Tiger King? Don't ruin it for me. That's as far as I am. Well, I'm going to wait till the end. Yeah, I'm going to wait till you finish. Everybody finishes it, or you finish okay. it. Okay. Matt, you started it? No, I watched two, the like an episode and a half. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Matt I just know it wasn't him singing. <laughs> you don't know that. I do. You know you that's like you watch that in the whole yeah. thing. Where was oh, I in that story it. when it cut out? I don't know. I have no idea. How do we? How do we know it story. him? Oh, oh! So he went to two guys who were like up and coming, and they, he was like, "I'm starting this reality show." If you guys uh, would like to give me some of your music, write some songs about this, I'll put it on the, the reality series and it'll make you blow up. Well, then a couple <laughs> months later, one of the guys YouTube like looked him up on YouTube and saw a music video with his song in it, him singing. <laughs> <laughs> but it was but it was Joe Exotic lip syncing it. <laughs> I don't believe it. You can tell I'm watching it. Fake news. The first episode. <laughs> The dude's a talent. First off, he's recording a music video. You don't sing in an actual music oh, video. Hey, you lip sync. He has he's his on, own. He's music on videos. Spotify. Thank you. <laughs> he has two That's albums. You don't make two fake <laughs> albums. Oh wait, this is explained. I can't play that. It says, I'll be honest I with you. I hate you, Carol. It's not that hard <laughs> to be on Spotify. Oh, very true. <laughs> very true. <laughs> Let me get to a part where you sing. Oh, wait. Let's play the I wait. Saw a Tiger song. Hold on. This might not be him. <laughs> this is way too, like, upbeat. That ain't him. No, it doesn't, doesn't, sound like, doesn't sound like his that's music. Why, hey, that's why his... Not my Joe. That's why his little... His face is, like... Like, washed out. You can't see his eyes. Yeah. It's fake. Fake. Fake vision. Uh, but fake I bet music. he's got a bunch of listeners. We should do that. We could beat, though. What's up? <laughs> That's true. We should, we should have Joe Exotic. Home. We should have a we should have a tiger farm with like two hundred and fifty tigers and <laughs> Matt. Some, if we, we should us. we should get him. Who's gonna pay for the collect call? I mean, I'll give an, I'll give like thirty five cents. 
But if we can get Joe Exotic on here. He's in jail. Yeah. Let go. You can still get calls. That's true. You can only get calls, though. You can't just, like, call up there and be like, hey, is Joe there? (laughs) If we. (laughs) Yeah. I'm sure sure nobody else is trying to call this guy either right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, we've got a podcast in Louisiana. We got like tens of listeners. You think we could have like ten minutes of your time? <laughs> That's like every other cold email or cold message I've sent. <laughs> Live from the Staples Center. Yeah, yeah. nosebleed probably, studios. He would respond though. I'm pretty sure. Just tell him uh, it's about that that uh, that B word from Florida, Carol Baskins. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is how much he's made off his documentary. A lot of ramen. Yeah, his, that's probably true. His commissary fund is out, out, out of this world. <laughs> There's really no telling. Uh, yeah. you, need to finish it. you need to finish it, and then we'll, we'll go into more detail because you're in for a wild, <laughs> wild ride. What's weird is that he has a docu like documentary crew follow him around. He's, like he's eating on a bench. He's basically just, got. What I got it out of it is like it's a reality show being recorded by a documentary, which is now being recorded by another documentary. So it's like a it's a it's a documentary and a documentary. Documentary have a documentary have a reality show. Yeah, kind of like, like Office soon. or an internet show. I think is what he called it. But sounds like good too. Basically, The Office featuring Joe Exotic. Basically, <laughs> yeah. that's what I was thinking of when he said that documentary of a documentary. I thought The Office, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh, in other news, I have uh, Chinese market opens back up on their menus. Anybody want to guess their menu? Oh, there's definitely got to be bad on there. Dog, cats, and bats, baby. Not baby, sorry. Just dog, <laughs> cats, and bats. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Didn't mean that. It just came out. Where is that real? That was real. Chinese market yeah. opened back up. Dog, cats, and bats. So – you thought they were done before. Dang. Just, Have you seen the picture of the bat that apparently coronavirus has came from? It looks like something straight out of hell. That thing is scary looking. Apparently in other countries, bats get like a ton bigger. Like it's not yeah, just the I bat mean, that dips down in your swimming pool at night. And you're like, oh, look, a bat. Like these things are like huge birds. Yeah. I hope I never find out. I saw a picture of, of the bat that apparently the coronavirus came from, dude. It looks like something straight out of a horror movie. No. Hey, Jacob, I've got some bad news for you. What's that? Uh, I wanted to break it to you. Justin Bieber postpones his summer tour, so. Yeah. You heard it here first. for you, man. <laughs> yeah. Just want you to know you're on my prayer list at uh, my church. I know you've been looking forward to that. You hadn't told your wife that you were taking her yet, but that's probably tough. leave her back on that one. Yeah. yeah. And you know that there's some like 16, 17 year old girl, well, at this point, and probably in her younger 20s, that was probably like, okay, like I was fine with the coronavirus taking mm-hmm. sports, but not Justin Bieber. You know that happened. The yeah. There is a tweet out there saying that. Like, oh, there's man. only one fever stronger than the corona fever and that's beaver fever yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see what other notes i got here no big deal um i thought this was pretty interesting so i'll tell you what let's go into this i asked y'all during the day today to uh come up with a way like we could have sports safely and i know matthew you said you had something Oh, no, I misunderstood the question. Oh, okay. Well, what'd you do? <laughs> to get sports to come back. <laughs> oh, great. So, what did you yeah. – okay, so explain what you figured out. No, just take away all social media, all Netflix, all everything, and people will figure it out. So, you figured out how to figure out how to make sports <laughs> come back. Yeah, yeah. Like, I thought we were trying to <laughs> come up with a plan to make sports come back. That's my main concern. <laughs> hey, thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, take away Netflix, everything like that. People got they'll figure it out. Thank you, man. I think we should just yep. start watching um, WWE. That's a real sport. It, that's not I going. I saw either. an idea. I saw an idea where you just like I guess Barstool is doing it. We just find random regular season NFL games 
was just getting a watch party, all watch it, and we bet on it between ourselves. Nobody remembers the 2000 Monday night football game between the Yeah, Chargers. but we can we trust Steve to not look it up? Yeah, that's true. You have to, I won't no, know. we got to go off the system. Steve cheats at code we'd have, we, we'd have to – we'd have to uh, – <laughs> <laughs> you do pick the game like right then. Yeah. No. Like, all right, I'm downloading it. It's a surprise. Honor system. And surrender your phone. Just put it on the coffee table. Can't look it up. Ooh. I don't know, man. Same sketchy. Can't do it. Can't yeah, do I don't it. know. Uh, no, this, I need uh, something. The start China Basketball League is it is it going to start for a while? Obviously, they postponed theirs, but. They said they were making plans to split their 20 teams um, and then send like 10 to one city and 10 to another and play their games all in the same stadium. And then that was it. Like just continue their, continue their season basically in two cities in China, which isn't a bad idea. It's basically like the ultimate fighter reality show meets basketball. So like you could have a reality show of sports. Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. Still the best reality TV show, though, idea that anyone's ever had. It was my idea where instead of the <laughs> – <laughs> Taylor, give me a second, all right? God, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't even the punchline, bro. <laughs> I know. No, it, wasn't. <laughs> I know though, right? it wasn't. I mean, there is no punchline. This is not even supposed to be funny. This is how we make money. All right? Yeah. It's like the Bachelor or Bachelorette, but there's one girl or one guy, and then there's 25 puppies. Mm. And they have to vote off a puppy each week. And you only <laughs> get to choose one puppy. Mm. I'd watch it. Thank you. Obviously, you'd watch like it. 11. Sounds yeah. like the puppet <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. I just that. saw it's funny where you were just like, I've got the best idea, not like hands down. It's my idea. My idea yeah. for, like, well, nobody else's was even close. Just mine. Well, I've been watching a lot of Gary Vee and a lot of inspirational stuff on uh, YouTube. And that's what you come up with. Yeah, well, they just <laughs> – The puppy bachelorette. <laughs> no, I already had – dang it. I already had that idea. But now I have the confidence within myself to tell oh, you gosh. the idea. Listen here, Carol. <laughs> Carol Baskins. <laughs> In other news, what did they suspend the day? What did they suspend the day? They suspended something today, other than Justin Bieber's thing. Uh, oh, was the oh, it was Wimbledon? That's what Shucks. It was. First time since World War II. Fun facts. <clears throat> mm, shucks, dude. What did you think? <laughs> so, hey, back, okay, idea, back idea, on. idea. I'm thinking. So let's just let's just do our own Wimbledon playing Wii tennis. We do a bracket. Sounds like Repeat. a lot of exercise. Oh, Sounds like a lot of effort for tennis. Oh, I'm in. It is tennis, but I, I mean, mean, we we could do that. Or Ooh. like, oh, the, oh, Jacob changed his, Yeah, Jacob just changed his background to "Welcome to Tullahoma, Tennessee." There's no way we can do a successful. I mean, and I say successful in the loosest terms, a successful podcast in this app. This is way too distracting. <laughs> like, our tens of listeners have no idea what's going on right now. They're, I'm going to have to upload this to YouTube. No. Wow. I can't get back in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think your internet might be – is that me cutting out? Am I cutting out? No. This is no. Jacob. Jacob is <laughs> – Jacob – Jacob's router is just like Jacob, a box of back. Fruit Loops. <laughs> yeah. His face is completely gone. On. Yeah. <laughs> well, now's a good time to to uh, start our favorite segment. We're gonna do it every time. <laughs> yeah, geez. we didn't even have anything last I be, time. Yeah. I barely had thirty seconds last time, yeah. man. Two we minutes do, uh, in Tennessee. We could do two seconds in Tennessee. No, I want to give you guys a little known fact about my favorite town in Tennessee. I already go. Ella. Telahoma. Okay. Did okay. you guys know that the country music star Dustin Lynch is from? Who can we guess? Give us a hit. Oh, that was my guess. He's from guess where? Telahoma. 
Tellahoma, Tennessee. No. His last, I swear, his last album that came out in January is titled, take a guess. Breadstick. Take me to Tellahoma. <laughs> Tellahoma. Just Tellahoma. Tellahoma, I'm coming home. So I'm going to put it out to our tens of listeners now that Dustin Lynch is a fan of Thoughts from the Cheap Seats. Mm-hmm. Ooh, He's probably the one listening. People are saying. He came. It's, I mean, this is my rumor, and this is how I'm going to start it. He came to Shreveport Bossier the same week we started getting listeners from Tellahoma. That's bold. Coincidence? Nah. I think not. No, I Dustin think not. Lynch is a fan of thoughts from the cheap seats. Now we just need some of his money. I can, I, I can call him. All right, hit him up. <laughs> well, if he listens, we're talking to him right now. That's true. Hit us up. Hey, Support. in other news, I do have uh, – look, this is the last two things. I took a whole page of notes. This is it. This is pretty interesting. Uh, the Saints – Page of notes. Yeah, I got two – yeah. Well, most of it was just Tiger King quotes, and I didn't use them all, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Um, the Saints are willing – well, first of all, they're going to do their draft part in a, brew, a brewery. Yeah, that – Have y'all seen that? Dixie knows. Beer? Yeah. That's the best the thing Dixie ever. Beer. I, didn't know she, I didn't know she owned that. Yeah. And, I mean, they're like a huge sponsor of everything in the world, mm-hmm. basically. But, anyways, they it said they're willing to stay there for the entirety of the draft, like the 22nd to the 25th. <clears throat> and I saw that. It was like, they're willing to stay there the entire draft. Like, obviously. You're telling me you, could, you couldn't just, like, do your draft, do your job, and then have a couple drinks with the boys and then wake up, do your job again? Drafts like, on drafts. It, drafts Ooh, on drafts. That's, that's the name of it. Dude, they should have. They're going to make shirts. They drafts on drafts on drafts. Trademark it. Copyright. Trademark it right yeah. now. Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> Patent. TM. I just said it. Dibs. <laughs> would, it be, would it be drafts in draft? Ooh. Drafts on draft. I don't know. I guess it'd be drafts on draft. We got to iron think, out. I think uh, maybe they could do a. They could do the draft inside of the giant keg. That's a lot of echo. <laughs> yep, drafts and drafts. <laughs> I think, and then every uh, guy that gets drafted, they just drink a draft. You gotta, yeah, you get dunked. I think that uh, after the draft, we're going to finally see where went Jameis Winston and Cam Newton go. Like, I don't think we're going to see anybody move. I think they did it before the draft, though. I think, I right. think people are going to see where Uh-oh. where to – Matthews. Uh, okay, Benson. well, yeah, it's me. What's up, gentlemen? I have a question. Did Sean Payton accidentally announce the fact – that uh, it's all this. Drew Brees is retiring after this year. What exactly? All right. So I don't. I saw the headline. I don't know exactly what he said. So what? Okay. Did so he so he was on Get Up, and I guess it was, I think it was Greenberg. Greenberg was asking him what is his plan for Taysom Taysom Hill for the coming year, and he talked about using him in different ways, how they use him on <clears throat> tight end a lot, wildcat package, and all this stuff. And then at the end of it, he was like, "And we're in a unique situation where we have a great quarterback like Drew Brees." that's going to be in his final season this year. He's, he said yeah. that, word for word. He said that. He said in his final season this year so that he can learn under, learn under him and be our quarterback in 2021. He wow. didn't say all that. He said all that? Yes. Word for word. Yes. Word. Look it up. That's why everybody's freaking out about it. For wow. Bold. That's bold. Yeah. So you don't accidentally they, say like, – that's a lot of detail. Yeah. Well, wow. when you do your draft in a brewery, there's no telling where. <laughs> That's true. Y'all yeah. Twenty eight. When it's drafts and drafts, bro. It's, yeah. yeah, you may say so, anything. Yeah, anything goes. This is it. One last for the Drews. If. And then I think the NFL was drunk when they did this. They said that, you know, they extended their playoff. That was a part of the new CBA deal or whatever. <clears throat> they extended the playoff, and uh, they said they're going to air one game on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Okay, I saw that too. Is that real? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be it on really? C- yeah. It's gonna be on CBS, CBS, and Nickelodeon. It's gonna be on Nickelodeon, yeah. and it's gonna have a uh, like a 
commentators appropriate for the audience. Yeah, they're going to try to get to that younger audience. Yeah. Is it one regular season game or one playoff? So it'd be like, so it'd be like when we were kids, I guess it'd be like Zach and Cody and Colin yes. the Patriots yes. Colts. Keenan and yes. Kel. Or Keenan and Kel. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Loser gets slimed. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to yeah. be honest. I read that on Twitter and just assumed it was Ooh. a joke. And just kept okay. Going. Ooh, I got, I got, okay. Question. Out of child, uh, any childhood of our childhood TV characters, Ooh. what two would be the best sportscasters to call a game? Or broadcasters to call a game? Mm. Keenan Kale's a good one, by the way. Keenan yeah. Mitchell. Wait, Keenan Thompson. Keenan Thompson and Kale Mitchell. And then uh, who is the Amanda Bynes? Amanda Bynes, yeah. Amanda Bynes. Amanda show. That's a good one. That is a good one. I can see her throwing some knock knock jokes in there. Hey, she like did did y'all see she went off the deep end? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Like big guy. I mean like yeah. her, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, where you been? Technically Lindsay Lohan like I just saw it the other day. She got a twin sister, so they could both do it. <laughs> I'm a fan. Let's do it. <laughs> Jeez. Everybody loves twins, right? McGuire. <laughs> Lindsay McGuire, it's a good one. I would I do uh young. Corey and Sean off Boy Meets World. Ooh, Ooh, that'd be funny. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, or Tia and Tamara. And then you got, hey, you got Corey and Sean, and you got, uh, oh, what's his name on the field? Oh, you'd have to Topang on the field. <sighs> hey, they, oh, you know what I do? Nope, this trumps it all. Sorry, guys. Another great answer by me. Sorry. Um, Vegeta and Goku. <laughs> oh, so we can go fictional? Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Vegeta and Goku. <laughs> You're welcome. I think you like you got a little Booger Gohan. McFarlane you like got a little Gohan on the field. I think well, they should like just have Booger on. McFarlane only. Like he does Jesus the color, he does the play by play, he does the sideline, all Booger. And then some of the stuff he says would cater to the younger audience. Like That's that boy's exactly one it. Popeye's biscuit away from being too big. <laughs> like he said that one time. He's like that guy's yeah. one Popeye's but biscuit Ke- away from being it was an Kelvin offensive Benjamin. Lineman. Yeah, yeah, it was Kelvin Benjamin. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hm
trouble and I see you fine.